in the new world of cloud services, you have uh, files that are up in the cloud. It used to be on your desktop so you could see them and copy them and paste them and do fun things like that. But now that they're on the cloud, it's a little bit harder. You have to sign in and you might have three or four different Google accounts and a Dropbox and other accounts. Well, how do you drag files back and forth between those cloud servers? Well, Dispatch has a way to do that. And we're going to take a look at it right now. Who are you? Hi, I'm Jesse Lamb and I'm with Dispatch. Um, I've been working on cloud services for the last couple of years and my team and I, we won the TechCrunch Disrupt Hackathon back in May and now we're in Techstars building Dispatch. Very cool and congrats on winning the hackathon, that's not easy. Uh, what was going on at that hackathon? That was a weekend, right? Yeah, there were about, uh, we drank about 50 Red Bulls and we were in the hangar up on the Upper West Side and just uh, cranked out what we could build. We built, a, we built a Chrome extension that allowed you as you're browsing to move things between your Dropbox and your Google Docs and anything you come across on the open web, we'd allow you to send to any of those services. Um, and Dave Tish was in the audience and before we even got off stage, he sent us an email saying, would you like to be interested in hearing more about Techstars? And then we joined and over the last three months we took that uh, thing that we built uh, in 10 hours and we've built it into a whole product that we'll be launching soon. Yeah, and it's very, very cool. Thank you. Um, explain what it is. So Dispatch brings together the cloud services you have, your Dropbox, your Google Docs, your Evernote, and your email, and even your Instagram and Spotify eventually, so that you can see all of your stuff in one place. because. The, because everything's moved to the cloud, everything gets kind of scattered and Dispatch brings it back together. And there's a power of having your stuff together so you can move things, just drag and drop between the different services and you can see like the latest of what you're working on and even launch into the different services. So if you have a lot of Google accounts, you can launch right into what you need from there without having to fight with the single sign-on that they have right now. Google accounts are interesting. A lot of people have Google a uh, Google Apps account and mm -hmm. then a Gmail, a uh, mm -hmm. standard old Google Gmail account. Mm -hmm. Can I drag emails or stuff or just files or uh, tell me what I can drag between? Right now things. you can drag attachments from your email to anywhere, but we actually treat, uh, eventually we're going to treat messages as things too. So you could drag a message from one account to the other or drag a message into your Dropbox and it becomes a PDF of the message along with the attachment. So the idea is taking your stuff and helping you do what you need to do with it with as little friction as possible. Yeah. Um, and down the road will allow you to create rules so pictures you take with your Instagram automatically end up in your Dropbox. And just the, the our, our overall vision is letting you have the tools you need to do the things you want to do with your stuff, whatever it is. Yeah, for, for people like me who are totally living in the cloud, this is magic, right? For normal people, you know, who might have a Windows XP machine and are still mm -hmm. dealing in the file system, and they might have just a Gmail account or a mm -hmm. Hotmail account, tell us why we why those people need this. I, I see why I need it, but yeah, there's there's an interesting curve because it's an acute problem for you right now, um, and we see it becoming more of a mainstream problem. My mom uses Dropbox, and my dad keeps stuff in Evernote, and they're not super technical. Um, and when you when you get into services like Instagram and Facebook, where like most of your photos live in Facebook now, yeah. that's, that's stuff that everyone has, just across the spectrum of early adopters or mainstream. And the more services there, there are, even mainstream people have more stuff in the cloud as well. That's, that's becoming the center of our digital life is in the cloud. It's not on a one device anymore. It's on multiple devices and the hub's in the cloud now. And that's that's something that's going to happen for everybody, um, even if they, they're they not there yet. Yeah. Tell me about some of the security things you can do or, or some of the collaborat collaborative things. Because you can drag a, a file over to what, Twitter and send a tweet? Uh, yeah. Tell me, well, and you can drag multiple things? Uh, tell me about yeah. some of the things you can, fun things you can do with this tool. Yeah, what's cool is when you bring it all together, um, there's a lot of things you want to do with it naturally. So let's say you have a package of stuff I wanted to send to you, and I only have uh, Twitter as your contact. Well, a lot of, I don't know about you, but a lot of my DMs are asking for someone's email address because I need to move to another channel because Twitter doesn't have a way for me to move things back and forth. And what Dispatch allows you to do is you actually can connect your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your Google contacts. And without having to worry about finding another way to contact them or worrying about what services they use, 
you can send to somebody through Twitter, say, Jesse, check out this video and <clears throat> that we shot. And you click it, I off of my Twitter so that you know it's me, so it's, so it's authenticating. And then you can get the stuff. And what's nice is you don't have to worry about any of the services I use. It's just the yeah. fact that I use Twitter and you use Twitter is enough. And then if I want to put that in Dropbox and you want to just keep it as something you uploaded to Picasa, you can. And we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because that's kind of friction. It's funny, like with Dropbox, best sync in the world. We love Dropbox. But when you go to share, you have to figure out which email address the person used to sign up. And you either end up with more than one Dropbox account or you end up having to uh, find the address they use. And now we can abstract all of that away, say, you have some way to identify this person, and you have some way to get to your stuff that's in the cloud, and we do the rest. Now, that's really interesting because uh, people all the time are pitching me on Twitter you know, with 140 characters, which isn't enough uh, really to pitch me properly. But then I need to copy Rocky, my producer, mm -hmm. and I can't because mm -hmm. Twitter doesn't let me do you know, CC. Mm -hmm. Now, Gmail does, right? Mm -hmm. And we're all, we're both on Gmail. So does this let us really uh, use Twitter in a new way, or uh, use the system in a new way? Absolutely, and, and you can use Twitter as, a, as the medium for the message, and then like, let's say I'm pitching you and I have like a rudimentary press kit or a demo or a login. I can put that behind the dispatch authenticated wall so that the stuff you have is secure to you, but you can use dispatch as the medium. So it will, and not just Twitter, it, it works for Facebook and LinkedIn, and it works over email, it works great with email too. Um, but the idea is you you have all these different services now that are at your disposal. You just need a way to harness the graph you have in Twitter and connect it with the stuff you have in Dropbox. Yeah. And and we actually so it improves if all three of us are on uh, on Dispatch, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because we uh, allow you to create collections and share that collection, and not just. We, we have the idea of packages, sending a package, which is sort of a one-time, I want to get this stuff to you. But we have this uh, sharing model that we're releasing later that will allow you to put everything into a collection, share the collections, and uh, even track updates. And, and if you want to store something in Dropbox and I want to keep it in my Google Docs, well, Dispatch does that for you transparently. So you don't have to even know what services I want it in. You just connect it. The thing is in one of our collections. And then we have these backings, depending on which user. It's actually really cool. And it's not like Threadsy, right? Threadsy mixed some of these cloud services into a feed, right? It's mm. not it's not uh, mixing, it's not showing me a tweet and then a Facebook message and then an email message, right? It it's laying Right, them not out. quite. The 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 activity dispatch is focused on the stuff you have in the cloud. So yeah. the different that that sort of is the the distinctive thing is is it's your files, it's your music, it's your photos, it's your videos. And being able to manage that in a, and giving you a hub to manage that from no matter which service it's in or no matter what you want to do with it. And so we, we treat messages like a tweet could be a thing that you want to yeah. keep track of later. Um, but we're not trying to build another channel for messaging because we already have really good channels. The idea is uh, extending those so that they can, you can do more with them and uh, maybe finally get people to stop using email attachments so that like that all of the friction that happens around that, just being able to kill that, give you a way to move things back and forth and have a conversation around it in a way that's connected in, about the thing you're talking about. Like, There's a lot of power once you bring all these services together and bring all the people together you know, so that you can work around your stuff in new ways. It's, it's really exciting. Well, I, I, I'm really excited about it. it it's going to transform my life. How are you? How are, how are you going to build a business on this? Because it's it's one thing to have a hackathon and, and build something cool that impresses the geeks. It's another thing to build a business. Absolutely. Um, what's there's a couple things. One, because we're using uh, connect to all these other services, we get to uh, tap into people who love these services. So our distribution is a lot easier. So the people who are big fans of Dropbox, we can get to them and say, we make Dropbox better. And we can get to the people who like Google Docs or Evernote and say, we make these services better. So distribution is pretty natural for us. And because we're in the productivity space, even consumers pay for productivity software that makes their lives easier. Yeah. Dropbox is making good money. Evernote's making good money, even GitHub. And these different 
freemium, a freemium model, which is what we're adopting, works for the type of software we're building. Yeah. One last question. What, you're in the Techstars uh, New York mm -hmm. uh, class. What's that been like? It's been incredible. We, it's, Techstars is amazing because very literally in May, we had something built in 10 hours. And it worked and it was cool. But from May to now we're, we're October, launched, yeah. uh, we've built something that is ready to be a business. And it's, we couldn't have done it without Techstars. And with the, the mentorship we have and the access to the mentor network and just Dave Tish and the people around us and being uh, here with the other teams, it, the energy is incredible. It's, it's nothing short of life changing for us and our business. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. Where do we learn more about it? Well, our uh, URL is dispatch.io, and you can sign up and connect all your services and let you know, let us know what you think. And you're on Twitter and Facebook as well? Yeah, we're at Dispatch on Twitter, and uh, you can find us on Facebook. Just search for us. Very cool. Thank right. you so much for sharing.